Happy Saturday guys! Hope you guys are doing well during this crazy pandemic. With the heat wave rolling through SoCal, hopefully that will help slow it down. Enough of that though, I'm sure you guys have heard enough. Let's get into this compilation we have today for you guys. We're probably going to have enough time for 3 to 4 different forerunners. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how many we can fit in as we go. We'll start off with the two MGM colored forerunners that we have here. Both are getting king setups. One is going to be getting a new set of cambered tubular uniball upper control arms while the other is staying with its SPC ball joint arm that it already has. Both are getting old man emu lift springs as well. We're about to rip out the factory Tokiko shocks that you see here and replace them with the King 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks. The front coilovers will gain about 3 inches of actual lift height. We're also adding some camber tubular uniball upper control arms on this one in the front and gaining about 2 inches of rear lift by installing some medium load Old Man Emu lift springs. This customer came in with a previously installed set of TRD Pro wheels with some 265, 70, 17 tires. With the new suspension setup, he'll be set up and ready to go with 285, 70, 17s when he's ready for it. Here's the second MGM one that's getting the King set up. He's ditching his current Toytec setup for that. Here's the next setup installed. Here's the King 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks. He's keeping the SPC ball joint upper control arms that he came in with previously. Here's a third Forerunner. This one's also an MGM color that we installed some Kings, 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks with adjusters and some Icon Delta Joint upper control arms. We also installed some RRW wheels on here with some 285 70 17 tires. We did a body mount shop to clear them properly with a negative 12 offset and a 9 inch width. And here's the fourth forerunner of the video. It's a TRD Pro that we installed a set of Advan RGD2s on. Sorry, but that's all we're showing for this one for now. I didn't record much of it. Last but not least, the fifth generation and fifth forerunner of the video. This is a limited model here that we're doing a lift, wheels, and tires on. This forerunner is getting a set of Fox 2.0 IFPs all around with some camber tubular uniball upper control arms and some Old Man Emu rear lift springs. In order to install that setup, we have to disable the X-ray system. Every time we work on a forerunner limited with retractable side steps, it requires for us to leave the doors slightly open so that the steps are down so we can properly use the jack points to safely bring the vehicle up on the rack. That's just an FYI in case you guys are wondering why the door is ajar and the steps are down. 
the vehicle goes up on the rack and the wheels and tires are removed so we can remove the factory TPMS sensors to swap over to the new wheels and tires, our tech prepares the upper control arms to install them. As you can see here, we mark all the tires with its position on the vehicle in case the owner of the vehicle needs to know in the future and also so that we can return the TPMS sensor to its original position. It doesn't matter for the forerunners as to which sensor goes where, but it's best to do so in case it matters to the customer. One thing we tell our techs is that if it matters to one person, it should matter to everyone. We can't take the chance of a customer being upset that we put a sensor back to another location. It truly doesn't matter, but for instances, say, where a customer replaced one sensor somewhere previously, maybe they'd want to know that it is still exactly in the same position as it was before. Confused with that explanation? If so, then you probably wouldn't even care where the sensor goes anyway. Just know that we're going out of our way to do it the right way, even when nobody is going to know. 88 Rotors is located in the city of South Oman, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done to your 4Runner or any other truck, feel free to reach out to us anytime. Give us a ring during regular business hours or send us a message through the contact form by clicking on the link in the description below. Here are the Camber Tubular Uniball Upper Control Arms. These right here are the Fox 2.0 IFPs. Out goes the stock springs here, and in goes the Old Man Emu lift springs. Swinging over to the tire techs, here they are, removing the factory TPMS sensors. Taking a peek in underneath here, you can see the Old Man Emu lift springs already on the vehicle. Shocks are going on next. Front coilovers and camber tubular uniball upper control arms are in. Rear shocks are on as well. Wheels and tires are mounted and balanced and on the vehicle as well. Customer decided to go with the oh so popular Method NVs in a bronze finish. This is a classic look that you can't go wrong with. Tires used here are also very popular, which is our BF Goodrich All-Terrain KL2 tires in a 285-7017. These are very popular not only because they have great off-road capabilities, they're amazing on-road. KL2s are very quiet and they have great traction for all road conditions. We're about to torque the wheels down to spec and of course take it out for a quick test drive. All limited models come with a limited bumper, and with those, they have a very big fender liner. In order for us to clear the 285s properly, we always have to trim these, as you can see there.
We hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do so, please find time to click on that thumbs up and give us a like. So, make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every single time we post a new daily video. Thank you very much for the privilege of your time today. Please take care and stay clean, guys. Keep washing those hands, and together we will beat this COVID-19.